Hi everyone, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University and today we're talking all about using Microsoft Teams to run our class sessions and to use breakout activities while inside of Microsoft Teams meetings. Um, we already had a great review video posted here in our Welcome to Transitioning to Online Learning course that walks you through the steps of setting up channels and using them for breakout rooms but I figured that I would create another video of our own that walks us through some of these steps and, and that gives us a little bit more context about how we might want to use uh, these tools at our disposal when we're running our own sessions. So the first thing I wanna point out is that I wanna make sure my students know how to get into Microsoft Teams so that they can join the meeting. Uh, I already have some resources posted that will show you how to set up your own Microsoft Teams space, how to get this join code that I have listed here, and how to join a team using a code. So we're not going to review that in this video, but uh, I will point out I do have a direct link in my course already posted to Microsoft Teams online. And the reason I do that is because our students at CBU all have access to Microsoft Office 365 online. They may not have access to the desktop application. So I'm giving them a direct link here to get to it online. They can download the desktop app from this site or they can sign in using their, their CBU credentials. And then they can use this join code here to join that team space if they haven't already done so. Now, once we have our team space set up, and we have one here set up already for transitioning to online learning, we're going to want to set up some channels that we can use for our breakout rooms during our meetings. By default, a general channel is set up. This is just uh, like the main lobby, the main uh, meeting space where all the general stuff for our team gets posted. We can have sub channels in here for groups working on group assignments or for our breakout room activities or whatever we want to set up a sub channel for. So I'm going to set up some sub channels here now and there are a couple of ways we can do that. We can have uh, open general channels that everyone would access or we can have private group channels for specific members of our team. So if I want to add channels, I can click on the channels tab here or I can click on these three dots to add a channel. I'm going to give this a distinctive name. Breakout Group A. And I'm going to leave this as a standard channel. If I wanted to set this up as a team channel for a specific group of students who are working on a project together, I could just click on this drop down menu here, set it up as a private group, and then I would need to add members to that group and only they can access that channel. Now, for our purposes for using these channels as breakout rooms for our meetings, the steps that I'm going to demonstrate here would work exactly the same if this is a standard group that everyone accesses or a private group. So I'm going to leave this as a standard group and I'm going to check off the box so that this automatically shows this channel in everyone's channel list. So this channel has been added. I want to add a second channel here now called breakout group B. So now I have a second standard channel and I can set up as many as I need for my class for the types of breakout activities that I'm going to be running. Now we have another video that I have already posted that shows you how to schedule a team meeting. So I'm not going to go through that now. I will show you that you can come here into Teams and you can start a meeting on the fly or you can join your existing team meeting uh, as per the instructions that uh, we posted in a previous video. To join a team meeting in the general room on the fly, and this is where you would want your students to go, this is the room that you would use uh, when you're scheduling your regular classes on a weekly basis. Uh, to join it on the fly, you can go to your Outlook calendar or go to your calendar here find that team meeting and uh, click on it. But you can also join on the fly. You can start a meeting on the fly. Down here on the bottom, you'll notice a toolbar. And one of these is Meet Now. So I'm going to set up an ad hoc class meeting here now. So this is going to be demonstration meeting. And I'll call this main classroom. And we'll meet now. 
Now you'll notice that my webcam is not showing up on the screen. My screen is black and that is because I'm currently using this webcam while recording this video. It's uh, getting you the image that you're seeing of me in the little box down in the corner of this video. So it can't be used to capture my image to put here on this screen right now in our Microsoft Teams meeting. But that is not a big deal. So if I want to start a breakout meeting for my students, I would bring them here into the main classroom first, give them any instructions, and I would need to hold their hand a little bit and show them where to go to find the breakout uh, meeting because I can't automatically send them off to that like I can in some other platforms like Adobe Connect or Zoom. So I would actually walk them through this the first few times until they get used to this. And I'm going to demonstrate that now. And I'm going to actually pause for a moment so that I can um, explain this in a way that I can use this uh, same video, uh, the rest of the same video to show students how they can get into our channels for our breakout rooms. Okay, so we are here in our main classroom meeting. You'll notice that uh, you can't see anybody on the screen right now because I'm the only one in the meeting and my webcam is uh, not picking me up for our classroom space here in Teams right now because it's currently in use to record me uh, creating this video. So if I wanna get into the breakout room from the main classroom, I am not going to click on the hang up button. That will kick me out of this meeting and I still want to be in this meeting. I just wanna join another meeting at the same time. So I would go over here to the Teams icon on the side of my meeting. And that's gonna bring me back to my general Teams meeting space. You'll see that there's an icon here next to the general room indicating that I'm in the middle of a live meeting and it's up here in the corner right now if I want to maximize this and get back into it. Now, my teacher has told me that I am to join breakout room A, breakout group A, and we'll work on some activities in there. So I'm going to click on breakout group A. And I'm in a space here now, very similar to the general space. I can chat with anybody else who is in this uh, channel right now. I can share files. We can share notes. We can add other apps. What I'm going to do in here now is click on join or meet now down here in the bottom. Same button that I clicked on a few minutes ago when I set up my general class meeting. And this will be breakout A. Click on meet now. It's going to bring me into this meeting. And you'll see that there's a little box up here telling me that I'm in another live meeting at the same time. This is the, the uh, main classroom. I can switch back and forth between these two rooms with ease. Again, don't click on the hangout button if you don't want to leave the classroom space or the breakout room space altogether. Just click on this button up here to resume your meeting. It puts the other meeting on hold for me and brings me back into the main classroom. And you'll see that I have breakout room A still listed up here. And it's telling me that I can get back into here simply by clicking on resume, or I can hang up and leave that meeting altogether, which I don't wanna do. So I can toggle back and forth between the breakout room and the main classroom as needed. And this will work for both teachers or students. You can move back and forth between both rooms. Well, let's say that as the teacher, I want to join breakout room B as well so that I can pop into that. Again, I can click on Teams here. I can click on breakout room B. Click on Meet Now. And it has started up another meeting for me. I'm in breakout room B. You can see that I have breakout A also available here and my main classroom here. I can move back and forth between all of those with ease. So now that I'm here in breakout room A with my fellow students, I want to work on something. We don't want to just stare at each other's faces on this screen and have a general chat. Presumably we are here to collaborate on an assignment or to work on some small group activity during class time. I can go back to my team space here make sure that I'm in the correct breakout area. So I can get back into our live meeting by clicking on the button here. I can get back in here by clicking on this block over here. I now have available my chat area as well as files. So as a member of this breakout channel, 
I can upload files in here. We can uh, share and copy links to each other. There's lots that we can work on. Um, presumably as a teacher, I might want to upload a file in advance for my students to work on. So I'm going to do that now. I have a file here. It's a template of a Word document that we used in uh, 5103 last term. So I can upload that file. Anyone in the group can now access it. Click on this button uh, to open the document. Click on edit. Everyone in the class will need to click on edit so that they can open this document in Office 365 online. And now we can collaborate on this document. It's not going to let me overwrite something if my classmate is already typing on uh, one of these lines. It will gray out the bits that I'm not able to edit because somebody else has already grabbed it. But we can collaborate on this document. It's going to auto-save everything. And then we can share this document later on to review it when we come back together in the main classroom.